Hello friends, if you are a Linux user and you are using a HD webcam, you have a HD webcam and you are looking for a interesting application where you can utilize more of your webcam where you can take pictures and movies. I found one interesting software and I would like to share that software with you guys so you also can take advantage of that software. So basically the software name is Webcamoid. And this is a ultimate webcam suit where you can actually create um, nice pictures, nice videos and there are tons of filters available and there are many codecs supported by this software. So there are so much fun to do with this application. Now let's just go. You can just download this software from this webcamoid.github.io or you can just simply if it is very hard for you to recognize you can actually one thing you can do you can go into the description of this video and you can get this download link and you can search by own just put webcamoid inside google and you will find the first link and just go to this website so what that will do is uh, you just go once you go into the download link and then you will see there are linux versions mac version and windows version so in my case let's just go and download the 64-bit version let's just save file and it is going to download it's already 57.2 mb so not very heavy software just go inside downloads there you see this run file and by default if you execute that it will show this error message so you can't and even if you say yes there are some weird error you will see so just hit no and that to solve this what you have to do right click properties permission and make sure allow executing as program is selected then close this run it again and here you see the startup is now started when you hit next and it will go next 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 and that's it because I'm not gonna do reinstallation because it's already installed in my system so now it's time to open this application right so let me just quit this and close close this so you can find this application inside applications menu sounds and video and webcamoid so without further delay let's just click this all right so here you see this is this software webcamoid is now started and this is the default setup i haven't changed anything and now and whenever you start you will see something like this but as you, uh, right now i'm using uh, logitech c922 hd cam and the quality which i'm seeing is, is very low and blurry there is no sharpness and the colors are not well this is not what I should see so wait we'll see everything so first of all there is first option which is where you can stop and that will actually stop your video uh, playing or video getting video from your cam when you play that means it's now your it will turn on your cam so then you can see the video directly the second option is config source and that is very important because where this option will get our sharpness and all HD details back. So just click that. And once you click there, you will see one option. Uh, first of all, here in the uh, left hand side, you can see C922 Pro Cam, whatever camera available in your. So I have, I can see my uh, fixed uh, HD webcam and C922 Pro. And there you see there are some options like resolution and that's what we are looking for. So let's just click and there are all resolutions available. Click 1920 1080. So as we see, once we click this, now our image is now sharper but our video is lagging. And I'm just frustrated with this lagging issue. Wherever I go, whatever software I open, I just see this lagging and this is something which is directly related to the codex okay and as you see whatever i'm saying is just going lost so to fix that what you have to do you go to video format and select rgb3 okay so now there is no lagging and with hd everything okay but once we change to rgb3 the res resolution is 640 480 that's what we don't want 
just go and pick 1080 again so now we have sharp clear image in 1080p and also there is no lagging so our video is smooth no problem so also there are few other settings that you can actually play around which is uh, brightness contrast saturations and all these settings that whatever so let me just quickly see okay so with brightness you can increase decrease and also you can hit reset so it will reset everything so let's just go select rgb3 and 1080 okay so this is fine so now let's just see some other options what we have we have a configure audio okay so this is when if you want to record a video uh, then it will be very helpful let me just quickly check one more setting which is sharpness okay mm. so if I increase the sharpness it's going like this okay so let's just put default 100 okay uh, maybe just 128 is the default one so go back rgb3 and 1080 okay let's just go and click on configure audio where you can see your list of your microphones so right now i have two usb mic uh, one usb mic and one is my default camera uh, laptop mic so i'm not going to use laptop mic i will use my atr audio technica microphone okay so another thing that we will see here if whatever settings are related to your selection that will display here so sample rate that you can choose what you want and channel stereo based on your selection these op these options will update so let's just leave everything default you can take photos so maybe you can take a photo and once you click that there will be a uh, like kind of uh, shutter button open where you can actually click and now this is your picture which is let's just save inside our our home and uh, documents let's just hit save there place documents open so this is the picture that we just click and overall you can see this the you can actually take advantage of your camera to can click the pictures okay all right so next is uh, video uh, take photo and there is record video so once you click there there will be tons of options available there maybe in the left side there are all uh, video formats and the right side based on your selection the settings will update so if you select uh, for example webm then there might be vp8 will obviously it will come because webm is the format for web and if you select mov quicktime then there are some mjpeg h264 264 all these libraries will come so for video i recommend you just go with dnx hd when this is fine with that so let's just record a video with that and we'll see okay so to start a video recording maybe you can actually uh, put this all these options in the side and whatever if you want to make it maximize you can and if you want to just there are some search options also there so if you want to see mp4 so you can see mp4 yeah, this is interesting okay so let's just start recording and before we start recording it is asking where you want to save that let's just put this inside our documents and let's just hit you can just put the name whatever name you want so right now uh, recording is a start already started in this application as you can see that recording is now flashing okay so let's just stop that there are some lagging but I can understand that why this lagging is because I'm making this video in my 10 year old laptop and this is why this might be lagging I just go and see the video how it's recorded uh, but in video is fine actually the preview is okay I'm, I'm just stop saying anything because that you can focus this is not live 
Oh. Okay, so this is the video that we just recorded. As you can see, so we just recorded a HD video with this cam and I'm okay with that. So this, there are so many options where you can actually play around and you can take more advantage of your webcams. So we already buy some expensive webcam and definitely if you are in Linux, you feel like, hey, you know, Linux is just a server operating system and there is no fun stuff for us. There is a fun stuff for, for us. So now I will show you the real fun stuff where you can really uh, buy this application very soon and buy means you will just get, go and download this application because this is free you can just go download in free this is the option configure effects so right now it's none so let's just see some of the cool stuff so ask I art hmm so if you are working on some hacking stuff like password cracking and all Hmm. You can create a video something like that, right? This is very interesting Aging aging is like some old age where you can actually create a video like overall in this like there are grains added and image is actually sharper and The effect you, you don't need to go in any editing software to actually create a video You can just directly create a video inside this and it's very useful uh, Blur is just a blur where you went where you want to blur the image and then after that you can just see and these all changes are live so broken TV is just like oh you have a TV which is broken you know the old age films cartoon is interesting where you can just see uh, a cartoonish look I don't know how I, what is the logic of this cartoon but once you have this software and good decent camera you can play around with these settings cinema is just a cinema scope I think that's it's just adding a cinema scope like this so where you can just create a movie kind of effect right okay so color filter is i don't know it's just a color filter where you can just select one color pick one color and this overall it will tint the scene with this uh, okay so here you can see okay so color filter means that it will pick only the color and rest will be the black and white color matrix transformation there are tons of options grab delay okay this is denoise so that will reduce the noise but this is cpu intensive so better you don't use that nice is fine oh there is one fire also which i like that so suddenly it start fire invert is when you want to create some flashback videos you know when in in movies when someone thinking about someone is actually doing some murder mystery so there you can see that oh these kind of videos this is life okay so there is one more which is matrix transformation kung fu master is i like this this is yeah so it's just repeating the action i don't know how it's up to you that how you want to use that so as you can see there are many options there and this all options are very good and if you don't want you just want your plain video then it's good to use this application is is fine fun and after that we have preferences where you can if you select the output i don't see any big options there but general option i think just leave it default but there there we have already the so much fun stuff to do with that right so in about this is the web camoid application it's available for linux you can go and download play around with this application this is very good this is my experience with this application and i share with you guys and it's working with c922 pro uh, webcam so that's it for this video and i hope you like and enjoy this video so please subscribe my channel like this video share with your friends they are looking for some good application for linux webcam application just share it okay thank you guys i will see you in my next videos